just got a new plate carrier with AR500 armor plates. And one of the things that I was looking for is to outfit it with some mag pouches. That is a huge endeavor because there are so many different type mag pouches out on the market. A lot of them are super high quality. You can go with nylon, you can go with Kydex, you can go with just a lot of different things. So what we have here is the X2R Taco Mag. This holds two rifle mags. And then we have the Double Decker Taco, which holds a rifle mag and a pistol mag. Now these look cool. <laughs> the shot cord on here with the nylon, it just has a great look to it. With these side uh, Kydex panels. And there's just a lot of cool things. But what's really exceptional about these pouches is that you can put almost any type rifle magazine or pistol magazine in these pouches which makes it very versatile. The magazine just slips in between and you have these areas right here that are bowed out and that's really going to help with inserting your magazine very positively. Uh, if you need some more tension of course again you can tighten up your shock cord. But these go in really fast and of course it is a double. The middle sheet is sewn in so this isn't going to come out here and here you have your shock cord going through these loops. But what's really cool is we take out our AR-15 magazines and now we want to go with the AK magazine. It slips right in. These are Magpul AK magazines, a little thicker than your steel, but you can see they fit, of course, adjustments again if you need to. Standard steel AK magazine, right in, right out. And once these get adjusted and you begin to use them, it's really going to form to it. And now as far as really testing out the AK platform is the Tapco magazines, which are typically a little thicker. They go in very easily. If you're running a 308, we have some Magpul 20 round 762 by 51 magazines for your AR-10 platform right in there. And of course in the back as well, to me, that is super impressive. Even your HK G3 mags. Now on the double decker with the pistol mag in the front, we can take our 1911 magazines, fit right in there. Has a lot of retention. Glock 17 mag, fits right in. Glock 10 millimeter model 20 magazine, fits right in. That's incredible. You wanna place a multi-tool in? Even that Leatherman Mutt fits in, or flashlight. It's just a very versatile platform. There are so many different things you can do with it. And instead of buying a multitude of different systems, uh, you, know, you can go with the same system, same loadout, which really makes this versatile. And really in the long run, it'll save you a lot of money. These are Molly or PALS compatible, and it does come with two malice clips, which these are super secure. And of course, it fits right into the Molly or Pals webbing right on the taco. There are a number of different colors offered on the SHGI website. Uh, I know AR500 offers the Multicam, Black, and Coyote. I believe there's a Stealth Gray, a Green, there's a Woodland, and there's even a Cryptek color. So there's a lot of different options. Of course, they use the shock cord all the way through. This makes this super adjustable. And then here you have a little keeper that can be depressed. Pull it to tighten it up, and of course, push it in to loosen. We have injected molded polymer all along the sides. Uh, this actually carries underneath, and it retains your magazine. Uh, with the bungee or the uh, shock cord pulling this together. The HDPE sheet divides uh, between the two magazines. This also helps very, uh, it almost lubricates the magazine going through. It makes it silent. And of course, you have this tab that runs down the end. Uh, there's no clanking going on. This fits tight when it pulls loose. It just slides out very easily. A lot of times with nylon, you're going to have a little more resistance. With this, because of the slick surface, it's going to make it much easier. Plus, there is a sheet of Velcro at the back that's sewn in. And you can attach another piece of Velcro to your magazine to mate with this if you really want to get this secure. Three loops of molly on the back and two loops of molly on the front. It's double stitched all the way through and then the reinforcement points are double and triple stitched. Uh, one of the things about this pouch too is that it has a lifetime warranty on it. Uh, so if there's anything that goes wrong with it, uh, SHGI will take care of it. And these are made in the United States, which is really great, actually in North Carolina. 
Now to attach your pouch and with the malice clips, we're going to go through and I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, first thing you need to do is go ahead and expand the PALS webbing or the Molly webbing right here. Uh, this is going to allow it just to uh, come up a little bit easier. You don't have to be too gentle because these things are tough. You can even take your uh, needle nose pliers and just extend it out a little bit. Having your plates out of your carrier is important. It makes it a lot more flexible, especially when you're putting your malice clips through. First thing you want to do is go ahead and insert your malice clips into the pouch going under all three. This is where you may need your screwdriver to be able just to open it up a little bit. Once it gets to a certain point, you're probably going to have to reach in and pull your malice clip on out. And you're going to want to pull it all the way through. Do the same on the other side. You want to pull these tight, make sure they're good and secure, fitting flush down here. Once you have your malice clips attached into the pouch, go ahead and find the location on the vest that you want to put uh, the pouch. And so we're going to put it right here on this end, starting out. Go through the first molly loop and then bring it up. Next, you're going to want to slide your malice clips up through that second molly loop. Go ahead and get them started with both. You don't want it to go into the top one, so you're probably going to have to have a tool to keep that from happening. We're using a screwdriver here. Get one loop through. And I'm going to get my second loop through. Now that we have them through, we're going to pull them. And then we're going to go through our second looping right here. Don't be tempted to bypass these middle loops. It is somewhat of a pain in the butt, but this is really what secures it uh, to your vest and it keeps it from moving around as much. It's a good thing these malice clips are malleable. <laughs> they can take it. Pull them through that bottom loop, like so. Now we want to put them into the fixture of the malice clip down here at the bottom. Once you get it started, you'll really want to get both of them going somewhat together. And then once you press the pouch, it will press those malice clips. Okay, right here at the top, take your needle nose pliers and compress it. And that's going to compress the malice clip down. Once you get it pretty secure, go ahead and bring your malice clip ends down like this until you hear a nice little click. And that's going to be the lock in. Once you have them locked in, they're there for good until you get ready to pull this little tab and you can open them back up. It makes a very small footprint on your vest with 3 inches uh, across, 5 inches in height, and 2.2 inches in depth, of course, according to the magazines you use. And there are a number of different choices of types. I mean, there's the single mag pouch, there's doubles, there's doubles with pistol mags, also a lot of other type accessories uh, from HSGI. So it's really a pretty cool modular system and again, extremely versatile as we see right here. Now I got these at AR500Armor.com, a great place to buy a lot of different kind of vest, armor plates, and of course the uh, SHGI uh, mag pouches. The 2XR Taco mag pouch runs $42 and the Double Decker Taco also runs $42. But, you know, one of the things about these pouches, once you get them, uh, you don't have to buy a pouch for your AR, one for your AK, one for your 308. Uh, it's, it'll fit everything in one, which to me, that is incredible. So check out the High Speed Gear uh, Taco Mag Pouch System. It's state of the art, it's modular, it's excellent. And I highly recommend AR500 Armor's website uh, for these pouches. Those guys are just great to deal with. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. And if you can't decide and you want to carry three rifles, well, you can do that too. You have a multi-tool. You want to put a multi-tool in there. You want to place a multi-tool in. Even that Leatherman mutt fits in. No idea what that was. <laughs>